today to motivate you with all my spring cleaning tips and tricks that I use every single year, so let's clean together. I've compiled a lot of cleaning motivation into one video where I share all of my helpful tips and tricks and cleaning hacks so we can all stay motivated together and keep our homes organized and well put together easily. When I am spring cleaning, I like to go to the areas that I don't regularly clean. So that could be dusting plants as I'm showing you here and a lot of other tasks that I don't do on a regular basis. Of course, some of the spring cleaning tasks will also be things that I do monthly, but a lot of them are things that I might only do quarterly or every season. And I just find a lot of things throughout our home do not need to be done all the time. But of course, if you have the time, it keeps your house nice and fresh to stay on top of these tasks. Recently, we did a big home renovation project where we replaced a sliding door with a window and that caused a lot of dust to be blown throughout our home. And that is why I'm finding I have to dust these blinds more often, which is a great spring cleaning task. It's crazy, when I start to look for the dirt, I definitely find it. Normally, I walk through my house with blinders on, but when I stop to look and see what needs to be cleaned, it's really obvious and it makes such a difference when I do clean it. All high traffic areas tend to get a little bit dirtier than other areas, and with having little kids, I can see that the exact height of where their hand is on the walls and doors tends to get a little bit dirtier than normal, so I try to remember to wipe down these spots every season. Baseboards are often overlooked, but it really makes a difference when you wipe them off. Call me crazy, but I like to have a rug under our dining room table. I picked a rug that had a very wild pattern, so it hides most stains and spills. But every once in a while, I like to go around and spot clean the rug where I see it is needed the most. I'm just using a mixture of some dish soap and water, and the stains are coming out pretty easily. Of course we take our trash out every single day and weekly, but we don't always wipe down the trash can, so it's good to wipe this down. It really helps eliminate any extra smells that might be lingering in the trash barrel. I'm getting started on some laundry, and that brings me to today's sponsor, Earth Breeze. It's great because it gets rid of everything that's wrong with old fashioned laundry detergent, like heavy plastic jugs, and considering that 91% of the plastic ends up in a landfill, and then realizing that liquid detergent can be up to 90% water, but why? Your machine already uses water. Their powerful eco sheets look like dryer sheets, but they're not. It's detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water and any type of cycle or machine. Couldn't be easier, no measuring, just toss them in. Then Earth Breeze made the whole concept of detergent even better. The packaging is compact, biodegradable, and plastic free. Their flexible subscriptions can be adjusted, paused, or canceled anytime without penalty. It's vegan and cruelty free. With their Buy One Give 10 initiative, each purchase donates 10 loads of detergent to a charitable cause of your choice. 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back, no questions asked, and no return necessary. Most importantly, Earth Breeze is tough on stains and removes odor, so you can still get a powerful clean. Their there's no reason to not switch. And if for any reason you don't like it, EarthBreeze will give you a full refund. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Shannon Torrance to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Shannon Torrance to get 40% off your subscription. Here is an often overlooked chore, which is just to clean out the crumbs from where we store our utensils. As we make food, of course, little bits of food drop into this drawer because it's open a lot. And it's just a good time to pull this out and clean it really well. I would get the vacuum out, but I know I needed to scrub the whole thing. So I did that and it looks so much better now that it's all tidy and cleaned. We are a family that eats almost every single meal at home. 
home cooked or at least home prepared. And so I am always cleaning this cooktop, but for spring clean, I like to take the whole entire thing apart and really give it a good scrub. And for at least a day or two, it has stayed looking nice and shiny and clean. Here is a great way to freshen your sink. You just pour a little bit of baking soda in there and then squeeze a lemon and then use the lemon to scrub your sink. And this will take some of the grime off of the sink, but it also just freshens it and makes it smell a lot better. And this lemon is from my mom's lemon tree. So I don't have to buy this lemon. It's free from the tree and there are a lot of lemon trees in our area. Here's another hack is just to take vinegar, some water and lemon juice and put it into your microwave for about a minute to two minutes. This just steams up your microwave to loosen all of that grime that can be stuck on there and then simply wipe it all out. I'm gonna wash all of these reusable grocery bags in the washing machine and dry them so they're nice and clean for the next time I go grocery shopping. I have all of these spring clean tips and ideas written out in a blog post over on my blog, shannontorrens.com. So I will link that below as well. Another thing I like to do is just deep clean our fridge. So I pull each thing out and wipe it all clean. And then I might take some time to organize everything in there and then restock it if needed. Wiping down the outside of the fridge is more of a weekly chore, sometimes daily, depending on what has been smudged on there. But this is something I'm adding to the spring clean list just in case this isn't something that you normally do. When wiping down my cupboards, I have to be kind of careful since I painted them myself and I don't want to scrub off too much of the paint. There will come a time where I'm probably going to need to repaint them, but as for right now, I'm just getting those spots that are really obviously needing to be cleaned. Here I'm just cleaning the floors and dusting the corners and I wanted to mention that I do have a cleaning planner in case you're the type of person who likes to plan what you clean on certain days and just plan everything out. I do have a planner so I will link that down below as well in case you are interested. In this front bathroom, we mostly keep some of our cleaning supplies, but every once in a while, I like to pull them all out and just dust underneath them and give this cupboard a good wipe down from all the dust it tends to collect. I always forget to wash my makeup brushes. So every spring, and I try to remember to do this every season, I just like to wash out my makeup brush that I use every day and make sure it's nice and clean because, you know, of course it can hold bacteria and we don't want that. So giving that a good clean and then also pouring some vinegar down my sink just helps eat up the bacteria and makes it smell a lot better. I'm gonna remove the hard water from our shower head by just pouring some vinegar into this bowl. Taking down the shower head and letting it sit in here. I recently organized this medicine cabinet or bathroom cabinet and every once in a while it's good just to pull these things out and wipe down the shelves, make sure everything is nice and clean. And I'm so happy I organized this. I will have this in a separate video coming soon on how I'm reorganizing some areas in my home.
I am so lucky that my son wanted to help me clean and he's actually the most helpful out of everyone here when it comes to cleaning. He loves to get in on all of the chores, so why not? I gave him something easy to do and he just ran around the house with the mop helping to clean up all the dust and little spills. I usually try to empty the vacuum before I start any kind of cleaning project because it makes it work so much better, it's more efficient. But here I'm actually emptying it after I'm done cleaning and you can see all the dust and debris that has been collected. This air filter should have been changed after our last home improvement project. Look at how horrible that is from all the dust from that project. So I should be replacing these way more often than the usual seasonal replacement that they suggest since we are doing so many projects here. During my spring clean, I like to wash not only the duvet cover, but I will wash the duvet itself, the blanket, and the pillows just to freshen it up in our bedroom. Here's a project I've been wanting to do for a while, which is to hang this art. The artwork is actually not even finished. I just started something, decided to put it up there, and then I never finished it. But I wanted to hang it so I had more room to put pictures on this ledge. I love seeing pictures of my family when I'm working on my computer, and I wanna switch these pictures out to some fresh new photos that we took, and just redecorate this area using things that I already have in my home. Living in Southern California allows us to use our outdoor patio area all year round, but it's still good to just sweep this off and clean it up a little bit and get it ready because we will be using it more in the spring and summer. It's always amazing how much just a little bit of tidying transforms an area to make it look so much cleaner. Now I'm going through my purse and all my bags and just clearing them out and getting rid of what I don't need to be carrying around. I like to do this quite often, but especially in spring, I like to go through everything. Now I'm just reorganizing my boys' toys, making sure everything is something we still wanna keep and that it's in the right spot and still organized in a way that they can put it away. And I like to do one huge vacuum of all the rugs and look for any spots that need to be cleaned. I clean all the towels and then I like to reorganize how I'm storing everything or just make sure I still have it how I would like it and that it is still functioning for our home and how we like to put everything away. And then I like to vacuum all of the uh, grates in our house where we've already switched out the air filter, but I just like to vacuum this to make sure that I'm getting any extra dust that was left on there. And as you can see, this spring cleaning takes quite a while. It's not all done in one day. I like to do it over weeks and just hit all those spots that I normally don't clean and don't have time for, like wiping down the lights and just getting all those areas that are often overlooked. And I just like to make sure I'm doing at least a once over, once a year or maybe twice a year, but spring is just such a great time to get all those spots that have been overlooked for a while. I hope you were able to clean along with me. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.